Okay, so the next step is to basically to find the inverse of the of the matrix adjoint A, which is basically this matrix here. We need to find the cofactors of each of these elements. So basically you know that the inverse of <coughs> the inverse of adjoint A the inverse of this matrix is the same thing as basically the is the same thing as of the is the same thing as the adjoint of this matrix, which means the adjoint of of basically adjoint A. And when you take the adjoint of that, then you 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 have to uh, divide that by the determinant of adjoint A. Determinant of adjoint A. So the determinant of adjoint A we have already calculated 25, right? So we need to calculate the, the adjoint of adjoint A, which is the, which is the, which is the adjoint of this matrix. Now to find the adjoint of this matrix, we do as we normally did. We Calculate the co the cofactors of each of these elements. Put them in a matrix. Take the transpose that becomes the adjoint of the of the matrix. <coughs> so I'm going to, to um, well I cannot take a screenshot really because um, because it's going to be. So I'm going to start with for example a of one one. And that's going to be negative one raised to the power, uh, basically two times some determinant, right? And then a of one two is going to be negative one times raised to the power three si times some determinant. And a of one three, for example, would be negative one raised to the power four times some determinant. And <coughs> a of 2 1 is going to be negative 1 raised to the third power times some determinant a of 2 2 would be would be negative 1 raised to the fourth power times some determinant a of 2 3 would be again negative 1 raised to the fifth power times some determinant a of 3 1 is equal to negative 1 raised to the 4th power to gain times some determinant. And a of 3, 2 would be, would be negative 1 raised to the 5th power to gain times some determinant. And a of 3, 3 would be negative 1 raised to the 6th power to gain times some determinant. <coughs> and now I'm going to take a screenshot here. If hopefully everything goes right, and then you will use this matrix to to basically write everything. Okay, so <clears throat> okay, so now for basically writing this determinant, I have. Um, Basically, a of 1, 1, so uh, basically delete this row and this column, 4, 1, 1, negative 1, 4, 1, 1, negative 1, and then again, uh, 4, basically 4, 1, 1, negative 1, 1, 2 would be this element, so uh, this delete this column, delete this row, negative 9, 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 9, 1, negative 9, 1, negative 1, and negative 1. Okay. <coughs> negative 9, 1, negative 1, negative 1. This element, did it this column, did it this row, negative 9, 4, negative 1, 1, negative 9, 4, negative 1, and 1. Negative 9, 4, negative 1, and 1. This element would be Delete this row and delete this um, column. You get negative nine, negative one, 
1 negative 1 so you would get basically negative 2 1 so negative 9 negative 1 <coughs> 2, 1, negative 9, negative 9, negative 1, and 1, negative 1, then, then 2, 2 would be, let me close this thing so that you, you, you don't have to do this over and over again. Okay, now for 2, 2, delete this column and delete this row, 14, negative 1. 14 negative 1 and uh, basically negative 1 negative 1 and 2 3 would be 2 3 would be basically delete this column <coughs> and delete this row so you get you get 14 negative 9 negative 1 and 1 14 negative 9 and negative 1 and 1 and 3, 1 would be delete this row, delete this column, negative 9, negative 1, 4, and 1. And uh, 3, 2 would be row 3, and then column 2. So ne 14, negative 1, negative 9, 1. 14, negative 1, negative 9, and 1. And 3, 3 would be delete this row, this column, 14, negative 9. 14, I'm sorry, 14, 14, yes, 14, 14, negative 9, and negative 9, 4, negative 9, 4, and that's basically all that we need for now. So, <coughs> so then you need to calculate this one by one. So this is 1. So this is negative 4 minus 1, which is equal to negative 5. This is negative 1 times 9 minus negative 1, which is plus 1. This is 10, so that is negative 10. So this is 1 times negative 9 minus negative 4 plus 4, which is equal to negative 5. Then you have basically negative 1 times 9 minus negative 1, which is plus 1, 10, that's, that's negative 10, and then you have 1 times negative 14 minus 1, which is equal to negative 15, then you have negative 1 times 14 minus 9, 14 minus 9 is equal to 5, negative 5. And then you have 1 times negative 9 minus negative 4 plus 4, which is equal to negative 5. And then you have negative 1 times 14 minus 9, which is equal to 5 times negative 1 is equal to negative 5. And then you have basically um, 1 times 14 times 4 is equal to 40, 16, 56, minus um, 81. So what is 56 minus 81? 81 minus 56, 7, 11, 5, and 20, negative 25. And that is basically all that we need for now. Next, we need to put these in a in a in a matrix. Now, negative five, negative ten, negative five, negative five, negative ten, negative five, negative five, negative ten, negative five, negative ten, negative fifteen, negative five, ten, fifteen, five, ten, fifteen, and five, all negative, and negative 5, negative 5, negative 25 negative 25 and I call this for example D2 I call this D2 now if I take the transpose of this matrix D2 prime 
I will have the adjoint of I will have the adjoint of this matrix which is the adjoint of adjoint of A which is the adjoint of adjoint of A which is the same thing as basically negative 5 negative 10 negative 5 negative 10 negative 15 negative 5 so negative 5 negative 10 negative 5 negative 10 negative 15 negative 5 and negative 5 negative 5 and negative 25 um, negative 5 negative 10 negative 5 negative 10 negative 15 negative 5 negative 5 negative 5 negative 25 that is basically the adjoint of adjoint of a and then we need to calculate uh, the inverse of this matrix so the adjoint of a the adjoint of a inverse is equal to basically this matrix which is the adjoint of adjoint of a divided by the determinant of this matrix which is basically the determinant of adjoint of a <coughs> The, de the value of the determinant of the adjoint of A was 25. So that's 1 over 25 times this matrix, which is negative 5, negative 10, negative 5, negative 10, negative 15, negative 5, negative 5, negative 5, and negative 25. And that is basically uh, the the, the inverse of adjoint of A. And that's basically what we wanted to uh, calculate here. The inverse of the adjoint of A. Now what we need to do is um, um, is find the inverse of A. To find the inverse of A we need to take we need to basically first we need to make sure that the inverse of A exists and, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot here of course I do have the matrix A over there as well so I'm going to first make sure that the inverse of A exists. So our goal here now is to, to find the adjoint of inverse of A, right? So what I'm going to do is um, so this is another layer I will have to create on another page and so now we need to, now we will calculate, we will calculate the adjoint of inverse A inverse. So, so first we need to, to, we need to calculate A inverse. First we need to calculate we need to calculate A inverse to make sure that to make sure that A inverse exists we have so we, we need to take we need to basically We need to take the determinant of the matrix A. If the determinant is, if A is non-singular, meaning that if the determinant of the matrix A is not equal to zero, then that means that A is invertible and the inverse of, the inverse of A exists. So now uh, the, the matrix A that we had was, was, was basically 1 to 1, 1 to 1, 2, 3, 1, and 115 and so we need to now 
we need to now find the determinant of this matrix. I'm not going to waste time on transformation. I'm just going to write the determinant A is equal to expanding is, is going to be equal to 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, and 1, 1, 5. And expanding, for example, along row 1, we have <laughs> expanding along row 1, we have so this is equal to negative 1 raised to the second power times 1 times the matrix 3, 1, this is a 1 I suppose 3, 1, 1, 5 3, 1, 1, 5 plus negative 1 raised to the third power times 2 times the determinant delete this column it is 2, 1, 1, 5 2, 1, 1, 5 and plus negative 1 raised to the 4th power times 1 times um, basically delete this row, delete this column 2, 3, 1, 1 2, 3, 1, 1 and so you have basically 1 times this which is equal to 3 times so it's equal to 15 minus 1 and that is negative 2 times 10 minus 1 and plus 1 times so 2 minus 3 which is equal to 14 10 minus 1 is equal to 9 2 times 2 times 9 is equal to 18 negative 18 plus negative 1 which is equal to 14 minus 19 which is equal to negative 5 that is equal to negative 5, not equal to 0. Therefore, therefore, basically A inverse exists. Now, to find A inverse, we need to calculate the, ad, the adjoint of A. To find A inverse, we have, yeah, basically A inverse is the same thing as the adjoint of A divided by the determinant A. Now the adjoint of A we have already calculated in the previous step, I suppose, because as we went over here, as you can see here, we calculated the factors of this, these are the, actually the cofactors, not the factors. These are the cofactors of the elements of A, and this is the adjoint of A. So this matrix, so I can use it in order to basically do in order to find the inverse of A. So now I'm going to go back wherever, where we were and and so basically what we can do is that I know that the adjoint of A we know that basically the adjoint of A is basically this matrix as 14, negative 9, negative 1, negative 9, 4, and 1, negative 1, 1, and negative 1. And so we have and so the adjoint of A is equal to this matrix. So A inverse is equal to is equal to basically the determinant of A the basic this matrix divided by determinant A determinant A is equal to negative 5 so that's negative 1 fifths times basically this 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 matrix which is 14 negative 9 negative 1 negative 9 4 1 
negative 1, 1, and negative 1. So that is A inverse. This is what we wanted to calculate. Now what we wanted to do is that we wanted to calculate the adjoint of A inverse, right? So the adjoint of A inverse, we need to find again to go factors of these elements. So I'm going to multiply these elements, to multiply this in inside. So that is going to be negative 14 fifths, negative 14 fifths, negative, negative positive 9 fifths, negative, negative positive 1 fifths, negative, negative positive 9 fifths, negative four fifths negative negative one fifths positive one fifths and negative one fifths and negative negative positive one fifths so that is the that is a inverse now now what we have so now to calculate the, the cofactors of this, the, the, the cofactors of these, uh, basically to, to calculate the, to calculate the adjoint of, adjoint of A inverse, we will calculate we will calculate the cofactors of the cofactors of A inverse. So we have so so then you need to find again basically A11. Now there is one thing that you need to be careful about. And you need to take the elements of this matrix, not this matrix, because this matrix, there you have to multiply negative one fifths by this matrix, and this matrix is actually not neg A inverse. When you multiply negative one fifths by this matrix, you will get A inverse. So I made this mistake, and I calculated quite a few of these cofactors, but that's actually not correct so i have to go back and i suppose let me see i think the first one is correct so negative one to the to the second power times uh, negative four fifths negative one fifth negative one fifth negative and one fifth this one is correct but the rest of them is are actually wrong and i need to calculate them again okay so now a of one two is equal to negative 1 raised to the third power times the determinant. So 1, 2 is basically uh, the row 1 and second column. So you have, you have to delete this row and this column. You'll get basically 9 fifths negative 1 fifths. 9 fifths negative 1 fifths and 1 fifths 1 fifths. And so you will get, you will have basically negative one times, times basically nine fifths times one fifths, which is basically nine twenty fifths minus, and you have a negative sign here, so plus one fifth times one fifths is equal to one twenty fifths, which is the same thing as ten twenty fifths. 10 25ths divided by 5, you'll get 2 divided by 5, 2 fifths, that is 2 fifths. So that's negative 1 times 2 fifths is negative 2 fifths. Next, uh, we have A of 1, 3. A of 1, 3, which is equal to negative 1 raised to the fourth power times the determinant. So A of 1, 3, so row 1, column 3. Delete this row, delete this column, 9 fifths negative 4 fifths, 9 fifths negative 4 fifths, and you have 1 fifths negative 1 fifths, 1 fifths negative 1 fifths. 
and then you have basically um, neg 9 fifths times negative, negative 1 fifths is equal to negative 9 20 fifths negative 9 20 fifths minus and you have a negative sign here plus 4 fifths times 1 fifths is 4 20 fifths so negative 4 plus negative 9 plus 4 is negative 5 negative 5 20 fifths and that's negative 1 fifths that's a of 1 3 a of a of 2 1 a of 2 1 is equal to negative 1 raised to the third power times so 2 1 so row 2 column 1 delete this row delete this column 9 fifths 1 fifths negative 1 fifths 1 fifths 9 fifths 1 fifths negative 1 fifths and 1 fifths if I'm not mistaken <clears throat> that is correct and that there you have negative 1 times now 9 fifths times 1 fifths is equal to 9 20 fifths 9 20 fifths plus because of this negative sign here and 1 20 fifths which is negative 1 times now that is 10 20 fifths divide by 5 2 divide by 5 5 so that's negative 1 times 2 fifths which is equal to negative 2 fifths okay now the next one is a of 2 2 a of 2 2 is equal to negative 1 raised to the fourth power times the determinant so 2 2 delete this column delete this row negative 14 fifths 1 fifths negative 14 fifths 1 fifths um, 1 fifths 1 fifths 1 fifths and 1 fifths and that is the same thing as so negative 14 fifths times 1 fifths is negative 14 20 fifths minus 1 over 25 which is the same thing as negative 15 20 fifths now 15 20 fifths is divide by 5 3 divide by 5 5 that's negative 3 fifths the next one is a of 2 3 a of 2 3 which is equal to negative 1 raised to the fifth power times the determinant 2 3 so basically row 2 column 3 delete this row delete this column negative 14 fifths 9 fifths negative 14 fifths 9 fifths and 1 fifths negative 1 fifths 1 fifths negative 1 fifths so you have basically negative 1 times negative into negative is positive 14 20 fifths 14 20 fifths minus 9 20 fifths which is the same thing as negative 1 times so 14 minus 9 is equal to 5 5 20 fifths which is equal to 1 fifths so that's 1 fifths here and there you get negative 1 fifths and then uh, 2 2 2 3 so then a of 3 1 a of 3 1 is equal to negative 1 raised to the fourth power times row 3 column 1 delete this row delete this column 9 fifths 1 fifths negative 4 fifths negative 1 fifths 9 fifths 1 fifths 9 fifths 1 fifths negative 4 fifths negative 1 fifths okay so you have 9 fifths times negative 1 fifths which is equal to negative 9 20 fifths 
plus which is basically negative ne into negative is positive and 4 25ths and 4 25ths and that's the same thing as negative 5 25ths which is equal to negative 1 fifths a of 32 a of 32 is equal to negative 1 raised to the fifth power times the determinant rho 3 column 2 rho 3 column 2 so I give negative 14 fifths 1 fifths negative 14 fifths 1 fifths and 9 fifths negative 1 fifths which is equal to negative 1 times basic negative into negative positive so you have 14 20 fifths minus 9 20 fifths which is equal to negative 1 times 14 minus 9 is equal to 5 20 fifths 5 20 fifths is 1 fifths is 1 1 fifths is one fifths so this becomes negative one fifths and you have a of 3 3 finally is which is equal to negative one raised to the sixth power times um, times um, basically the determinant 3 and 3 negative 14 fifths 9 fifths negative 14 fifths 9 fifths and 9 fifths negative 4 fifths 9 fifths negative 4 fifths which is the same thing as negative into negative is positive 14 times 4 is equal to 40 56 fifths 56 fifths minus 81 20 actually that's eight fifty six twenty fifths minus eighty one twenty fifths which is the same thing as eighty one minus eighty one basically eighty one minus fifty six which is and you get a negative sign there so you have seven and eleven 5 and negative 25 by 25 that's negative 25 fifth 20 fifths actually which is equal to negative 1 so that is that now I need to basically uh, to calculate the adjoint of a inverse so we need to write these numbers in a in a matrix and take the transpose of that which is negative one fifths negative two fifths negative one fifths negative one fifths negative two fifths negative one fifths and negative two fifths negative three fifths negative one fifths negative one fifths negative two fifths negative I'm sorry I think it was negative three fifths so negative two fifths negative three fifths negative one fifths um, negative two fifths negative three fifths negative five negative one fifths negative two fifths negative three fifths negative one fifths and then you have so one two three four five six and negative one fifths negative one fifths and negative one negative one fifths negative one fifths and negative one so this is what I will call for example d3 d3 now the the transpose of this matrix dp d3 prime is going to be the adjoint of a inverse if i'm not mistaken 
So, mm, I'm sorry, the adjoint of A, because these were the, uh, to find A inverse, we have, we know that the adjoint of A is equal to this, and then we said that to calculate the adjoint of A inverse, we will calculate the cofactors of A inverse. So these were the cofactors of A inverse. And so this matrix, when we put that together, that becomes the adjoint of A inverse, which is the same thing as basically taking the transpose of this, you get negative one-fifths, negative two-fifths, negative one-fifths, negative two-fifths, negative three-fifths, negative one-fifths, negative one-fifths, negative one-fifths, and negative one. And that is basically, that is the adjoint of A inverse. Now, we wanted to show that, we wanted to show that the adjoint of A, the adjoint of A whole inverse, is equal to the adjoint of A inverse the adjoint of A inverse. Now the adjoint of A inverse is this matrix and the adjoint of A whole inverse is basically the matrix that we have calculated um, over here I suppose. Is this matrix and we need to basically do a couple of things here. So I'm going to copy this. And just to show you that I can copy on this software now. I can copy here. Sorry, no, no, no. Now I first, I, you need to select something, for example. And to select you need to, it seems that after all, I don't know how to do it. You need to select something like this and then call, and this is GIMP, I suppose. GIMP is actually taught in um, the, in one of those uh, computer related uh, courses that uh, do you do in class 11 I suppose so this is copy and then you can go to the layer where you want where you need it and then you can make a selection here for example and then you can for example copy this over here and then you can tell the software to paste in to selection. And hopefully it does it. It seems that it didn't. Mm. Let me do it again. We'll go over here and Okay, that's how it works. 
and then you need to come over here and you will get a floating select selection pasted this and then you have to anchor the floating layer and that way you I don't understand what what is meant by anchoring it but it does really indeed anchor it and then that way you do copy and paste which is actually very very uh, helpful okay now so we have basically the adjoint of uh, a whole inverse this which is this matrix and uh, and this is basically this is the adjoint of a inverse and these are supposed to be the same matrices now i'm going to write here basically multiply this and so you have negative 5 25th which is equal to negative which is equal to which is equal to basically negative 1 fifths negative 10 25th is equal to negative 2 fifths negative 5 25th is equal to negative 1 fifths negative 10 25th is negative 2 fifths negative 15 25th is equal to negative 3 fifths negative 5 times is negative 1 fifths negative 5 times fifths is negative 1 fifths negative 5 times is negative 1 fifths negative 25 times fifths is negative 1 and that is actually basically the the exact same thing that we have here negative negative 1 fifths negative 2 fifths negative one fifths which is exactly what we have over here and then we have negative two fifths negative three fifths negative one fifths and then we have negative one fifths negative one fifths and negative one and therefore we have verified that we have verified that that the that the adjoint of a whole inverse that the adjoint of a whole inverse is the same thing as the adjoint of a inverse that is basically what we wanted to show and we have actually shown that okay so there is a second part to this question the second part we wanted to show that the inverse of a inverse is equal to is equal to a so i'm going to have to go to another layer here and so we know that a is basically is this matrix a is basically um, this matrix which is one two one two three one 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 five right so that is that is a now if you if you basically we we have already calculated a inverse in one of these we have already calculated a inverse somewhere over here This is the adjoint of A inverse, and this is A inverse. I'm going to make a screenshot or make a copy here. Go to copy. So first, I have to select it, and so this is A inverse. So edit, copy, and then I have to go back to this layer and make a selection here and here say edit and paste into selection and then I have to come over here and anchor it and there you have your A inverse okay okay so now uh, basically 
uh, we we basically want this is this is a inverse this 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 uh, matrix that I have copied is a inverse and we want to show that the inverse of a inverse is a so we want to calculate the inverse of a inverse we have to basically divide the adjoint of a inverse by the determinant of a inverse so now in order to calculate uh, um, in order to calculate uh, basically determinant of a inverse I might have made some mistake over here and I and I was far off by many measures so I just I, I will do it again Because I don't really know where the mistake was, and so <clears throat> okay. Now, now to calculate the, the determinant of a inverse, you just simply take the your 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 matrix and take the determinant of that, meaning that you have negative 14 fifths, 9 fifths, 1 fifths, negative 14 fifths, 9 fifths, 1 fifths, 9 fifths, 1 fifths, 9 fifths, negative 4 fifths, negative 1 fifths, negative 4 fifths, negative 1 fifths, and one fifth negative one fifths and one fifths this is the determinant of inverse of a this is the determinant of inverse of a so expanding uh, along for example expanding along uh, the Expanding for long, for for example along expanding along along row one we have so this is the same thing as basically negative one raised to the second power times negative fourteen fifths times the determinant delete this row delete this column negative this is four negative four fifths negative one fifths negative one fifths and one fifths plus negative one raised to the third power times nine fifths times the determinant let this column delete this row nine fifths negative one fifths one fifths and one fifths plus negative one raised to the to the fourth power times the determinant times one fifths times the determinant uh, delete this column delete this row you have nine fifths negative four fifths one fifths and negative one fifths and so you have uh, basically negative fourteen fifths times this determinant which is negative four fifths negative one fifths is negative four twenty twenty fifths minus one twenty fifths 
and negative 9 fifths times 9 20 fifths plus 1 20 fifths minus plus 1 fifths times plus 1 fifths times this is negative 4 fifths so negative 9 20 fifths negative 9 20 fifths plus 4 20 fifths which is the same thing as uh, which is the same thing as negative 14 fifths negative 5 20 fifths is is negative 1 fifths negative 9 fifths times 10 20 fifths is divide by 5 you'll get 2 divide by 5 you'll get 5 that's 2 fifths plus 1 fifths times negative 5 20 fifths which is equal to negative 1 fifths which is the same thing as positive 14 20 fifths negative 18 20 fifths negative 1 20 fifths so negative 19 plus 14 is ne negative 5 20 fifths which is equal to negative 1 fifths negative 1 fifths <coughs> So this basically shows that so the determinant of inverse of a is negative one fifth negative one fifth negative one fifth and that is not equal to zero. Therefore a inverse is non singular. non singular and the inverse of a inverse exists so now in order to find the inverse of a inverse in order to find the inverse of a inverse we need to find uh, basically the cofactors of each of these elements so to we already said over here to find to find the inverse of a inverse we need the address the, the, the adjoint of a inverse by the determinant a inverse and the adjoint a inverse you can you can find by finding the cofactors of a inverse now calculating the Calculating the the cofactors of the cofactors of a inverse, we have so basically a one one would be equal to negative 1 raised to the second power times the determinant delete this row delete this column you get negative 4 fifths negative 1 fifths negative 1 fifths and 1 fifths which is equal to negative 4 fifths um, which is equal to basically uh, negative 4 20 fifths minus 1 20 fifths which is equal to negative 5 20 fifths which is equal to negative 1 fifths now a of 2 2 is equal to negative 1 a of i'm sorry a of uh, a of 1 2 is the same thing as negative 1 raised to the third power times the determinant 
Deletes row deletes column, 9 fifths, negative 1 fifths, 1 fifths and 1 fifths. 1 fifths and 1 fifths. Which is the same thing as negative 1 times 9 20 fifths plus 1 20 fifths. Which is the same thing as negative 1 times 10 20 fifths, which is 2 fifths. 10 20 fifths, which is 2 fifths. <coughs> which is equal to negative 2 fifths. Next, uh, <coughs> a of 1 3 is equal to negative 1 raised to the fourth power times the determinant on 1 3, so 9 fifths negative 4 fifths. 9 fifths, negative 4 fifths, 1 fifths, and negative 1 fifths, which is equal to negative 9 20 fifths plus 4 20 fifths, which is equal to negative 5 20 fifths, which is equal to negative 1 fifths. A of 2 1 a of 2, 1 is equal to negative 1 raised to the third power times the determinant 9 fifths, 1 fifths, and 9 fifths, 1 fifths, and negative 1 fifths, and 1 fifths. And that's the same thing as negative 1 times 9 20 fifths plus 1 20 fifths. That is 10 20 fifths, 2 fifths, negative 2 fifths. A of 2, 2 is equal to negative 1 raised to the fourth power times, so uh, negative 14, 20, negative 14 fifths, 1 fifths, negative 14 fifths, 1 fifths, and one fifths, one fifths, which is the same thing as negative fourteen twenty fifths minus one twenty fifths, negative fifteen twenty fifths, divide by five three, divide by five five, so that's negative three fifths. A of two three. A of 2, 3 is equal to negative 1 raised to the 5th power times negative 14 fifths, 9 fifths. And uh, 1 fifths, negative 1 fifths. Which is equal to negative 1 times negative positive 14 20 fifths minus 9 20 fifths which is equal to 14 minus negative 14 minus 9 is equal to 5 that's 5 20 fifths 1 fifth so that's negative 1 -fifth. Now, a of 3, 1 is the same thing as negative 1 raised to the 4th power times 9 fifths, 1 fifths, negative 4, negative 4 fifths, negative 1 fifths. 9 fifths, 1 fifths, negative 1, negative negative four fifths and negative one fifths so that's the same thing as basically negative nine twenty fifths 
minus 4 plus 4 25ths, negative 5 25ths, which is negative 1 fifths. They have 2, 2, 3, 2 is the same thing as negative 1 raised to the 5th power times negative 14 fifths, 1 fifths, 9 fifths and negative 1 fifths. Negative 14 fifths, 1 fifths and this is 3, 2, 9 fifths, negative 1 fifths. which is equal to negative 1 times 14 25ths minus 9 25ths which is equal to uh, basically 5 25ths which is 1 fifth so that's negative 1 fifths and a of 3 3 is equal to negative 1 raised to the 6th power times negative 14 fifths, 9 fifths, negative 14 fifths, 9 fifths, 9 fifths and negative 4 fifths, 9 fifths and negative 4 fifths, which is equal to a positive Basically, 4 times 14 is equal to 40 and 56 25ths minus 81 25ths. 81 minus 56 is equal to, um, I think, 25. 81 minus 56, 7, 11, 5. So that's negative 5 25 which is equal to negative 1. Now I write all of these elements in one matrix, for example, call it E. And we have negative 1 fifths, negative 2 fifths, negative 1 fifths, negative 1 fifths, negative 2 fifths, negative 1 fifths. negative two fifths, negative three fifths, negative one fifths, negative one fifths, negative one fifths, and negative one. Now if I take the transpose of this matrix, E prime, that would be the adjoint of A inverse. And so that would give us basically, that would give us negative one fifths, negative two fifths, negative one fifths, negative two fifths. Um, negative three-fifths, negative one-fifths, negative one-fifths, negative one-fifths, and negative one. So we have negative one-fifths, negative two-fifths, negative one-fifths, negative two-fifths, negative three-fifths, negative one-fifths, negative one-fifths, negative one-fifths, and negative one. And we know that basically the inverse of A inverse is the same thing as the adjoint of A inverse divided by the determinant A inverse. We said that the determinant of A inverse was negative one-fifths. Take the reciprocal of that, that would be negative five. Negative five, if you multiply it by this matrix, that would be basically negative 5 times times the adjoint of A inverse, which is going to give us, 
which is going to give us basically this matrix. Neg multiply negative 5 by this matrix, you'll get 5 and 5 cancel out. Negative and negative cancel out, you'll have a 1. 5 and 5 cancel out, negative and negative, you have a 2. 5 and 5 negative, negative, you have a 1. 5 and 5 negative, you have a 2. 5 and 5 negative, you have a 3. 5 and 5 cancel out, negative, you have a 1. And 5 and 5 negative, you have a 1. 5 and 5 negative, you have a 1. 5 negative, that's positive 5, I suppose. So, and also we said that, we also showed that basically, uh, we also showed that A was, we also showed that A was basically the matrix 1, 2, 1. In the beginning we had this matrix 2, 3, 1 and 1, 1, 5. And so you can see that 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 1, 5. That basically means that A is the same thing as the inverse of A inverse. And that's basically what we wanted to verify. So this was question number 8. We have uh, another 9 questions here to go. Actually another 10 questions. We will do them and uh, the next basically, and by the way, I was, um, I think I have found out what is the reason why my transformation don't work. I will, if I, if I get the right opportunity, the right example, I'll show you why my, my, my transformations don't work. Most probably you already know it, but, but in case you don't, we will talk about that as well. Thank you and see you in the next video.